hello dear students uh, i hope you have seen videos number 21 and 22 and you have understood question number 9 uh, because of some small technical snag um, question number 9 have was uh, was solved in two videos okay so i hope you have seen both the videos and you have understood question number 9 now very much similar only the small difference there otherwise almost very much similar is question number 10 okay from slab 2 from exercise 1c so let us see question number 10 how we can solve this question so let us read this question see question number 10 is asking you find the smallest number almost same question number 9 also find the smallest number find the smallest number which when increased by that means the smallest number that you are finding when that number is increased by 11 when that number is increased by or when that number is added by 11 then the result is exactly divisible by 15 20 and 54. one thing very one thing to be taken care very carefully is what to be taken care is what care of is what the number that they're asking you is to find the smallest number smallest number so let me quickly explain you the the walking plan in this case okay. In this case also we we'll find the smallest number now suppose that we don't know the smallest number say smallest number is x now this smallest number see find the smallest number which will increase by when this smallest number is increased by 11 it's raised by 11 then the result then the sum is now exactly divisible by 15 also this sum is exactly divisible by 20 also and this the same number the sum is also exactly divisible by 54 when it's exactly divisible by that the remainder should come zero. okay clear so what number we don't know okay so to so let's say that this sum this sum of this x x plus 11 say it gives us y it gives us y say that x plus 11 after adding that smallest number the smallest number that you have to find x with that number if you add 11 say say the result is y then this y is completely divisible by 15 also this y is completely divisible by 20 also and then this y is completely divisible by 54 so that means y is completely divisible by 15 20 and 54 that means uh, that means um, y is a multiple of all these things y is a multiple of all these three numbers 15 20 and 54 y is a multiple and since y is same for all the things so it's common and moreover since they have asked you smallest number that means right y is the smallest number that means lowest number so that means right you find lc okay here y is the lcm of y is the lcm of what 15 20 and 54 in simple word for this question you have to find lcm of 15 20 and 54 okay find this lcm and this lcm will help us to get the answer keep in mind the lcm is not the answer but this will help us to get the answer okay so this lcm is completely divisible okay now from this see you got y but y means what x plus 11 so to find the smallest number i'll do from this y from this lcm you take you take 11 and set minus 11 so we get x that means the required smallest number is what from this lcm you just subtract 11 okay so the working plan here for this question is what you know students in simple word there are just two steps what is the first step first step is find the lcm of 15 20 and 54 find out the lcm of 15 20 and 54 because that lcm is completely divisible by 15 20 and 54 remainder will come zero after finding lcm in that lcm you subtract 11 from that lcm value you subtract 11 to get the smallest number which is the required answer okay so let's begin the sum so without wasting much time let's first find the lcm of 15 20 and 54 okay so we'll straight away start with finding lcm of 15 20 and 54 by prime iteration method so we start with same simplest here 
to find the prime factorization we should start by 2 first prime number 2 but you know that 15 is an odd number we cannot divide by 2 15 don't come in the table of 2 so that's why we'll leave 2 and then we'll go to next prime number that is 3 and yes 15 is a multiple of 3 3 5s are 15 by now you all remember that 5 is a prime number so 5 divided by itself 5 ones are 5 okay now we do prime factorization for 20 20 because of the 0 it's an even number so we divide by 2 and moreover 20 is a multiple of 2 so 2 tens are 20 or 2 ones are 2 and 2 is 0 okay so 2 tens are 20 0 is again even number so we divide by 2 2 fives are 2 fives are 10 5 is a prime number 5 divided by itself 5 ones are 5 okay so now 54 we know that 4 is an even number 0 2 4 6 8 so all even numbers are divided by 2 so we can divide by 2 first we'll, first we'll divide by 5 2 twos are 4 2 twos are 4 5 minus 4 1 1 and 4 14 2 sevens are 14 now 7 is not an even number so that's why 27 is not an even number it's odd 7 means odd okay 2 27 is an odd number odd number we can divide by 2 let's try by 3 and you know 27 comes in table of 3 moreover 7 plus 2 9 3 3 is 9 we can divide by 3 so 3 nines are 27 9 again we can divide by 3 3 3 is a 9 3 is a prime number so 3 ones are 3 okay so we have done prime factorization so let's try prime factorization okay prime factorization okay so prime factorization of 15 we got 3 into 5 and 3 is also 1 time 5 is also 1 times 3 into 5 15 1 1 power raised to power 1 each now we'll find prime factorization of we will write we have already found but we'll write now prime factorization of 20 okay so here 2 into 2 into 5 let's write in power notation 2 coming 2 times so 2 square and 5 only 1 times so 5 power 1 so we found prime factorization of 20 also okay now we'll find prime factorization of 54 54 we got 2 into 3 into 3 into 3 which gives us 2 only 1 times the 2 power 1 3 coming 3 times 3 cubed so we have found the prime factorization of all the 3 given numbers so this prime factorization will help us to find the LCM so in this question number 10 also just like question number 9 there is no need to find HCF okay yeah, because the question is something to do with LCM so we'll find directly LCM lowest common multiple therefore LCM of these three numbers 15 20 and 54 when you're finding LCM means what you're finding that number which is smallest also at the same time which is completely divisible by these three numbers okay that's why it's called lowest common multiple okay so let's find the LCM and you know all of you how to find LCM LCM means the product of all the prime factor with the highest power. In simple word, write all the prime factor that you find in these three numbers. All the prime numbers that you find here, prime factors, and write the biggest power. So we can see here in this three numbers prime factorization, two is there, three is there, and five. Is there. There's no other prime number. Only two, three, five. See, these are prime numbers. Two, three, five. So only I'll find two, three, and five. So we'll write all two, two, and three, and five only one, one time each. Yes. now we give the power for 2 see 2 is here and here 2 is two, 2 is a prime factor of 20 also 2 is a prime factor of 54 but see the power here 2 and here 1 so 2 is bigger so highest so 2 square same with 3 3 is a prime factor of 15 and 3 is a prime factor of 54 but in 15 3 has power 1 in 54 3 has power 3 so, so, so the highest power is the cube so we'll write give here cube in 5 5 is a factor of 15 5 is a factor of 20 and 5 is coming one and one time each so power 1 each highest power 1 so highest power 1 okay so now we multiply so now convert to simple form from this power notation 2 square 2 into 2 4 3 cube 3 cube is what? 3 into 3 into 3 3 into 3 9 9 into 3 27 and 5 power means 5 okay now let's multiply find for 20 find for 20 20 into 27 will be 514 that means we have got the LCM of 15 20 and 54 now this LCM will help us to get the required answer keep in mind the 540 is not the required answer okay 
answer something different but this will help us okay so lcm you got 540 so therefore this means that 540 is the smallest number which is exactly divisible by which is exactly divisible by 15 20 and 54 so hence so finally you find the small number hence the required smallest number which when increased by 11 is exactly divisible by 15 20 and 54 that required number which you know which was question asking you is what from this lcm 540 we subtract 11 because they're clearly saying that this the required small number is not 540 because they're saying that this you no know, the, the required small number for this particular question should be such that when that number is increased by 11 then only it should be divisible by 15 20 and 54 okay so means i have to subtract 540 from this 540 i have to subtract 11 so let's subtract them 10 minus 1 9 3 minus 1 2 and 5 means this is the required answer okay this is the required number see how all of you know whether it's matching the answer or not you know? find the smallest number which one in see there's a question find the smallest number which one increased by 11 so the smallest number we have got here got here 592 if required small number 529 sorry so if we think that 529 is the answer find the smallest number so we have got 529 find the smallest number which when increased by 11 because this required small number should be increased by 11 which one increased by 11 so if you add in this 529 11 then see we get 540 after adding after increasing by 11 then this new number this result this sum is now exactly divisible by 540 is now exactly divisible by 15 also 540 is exactly divisible by 20 also and the 540 is divisible by 54 also just check see 15 is uh, 45 then uh, 90 and then uh, 15 uh -huh. It's uh, another eight this six mm, fifteen six then look six one thirty yeah see then in the coming zero same here look twenty two is a forty and twenty seven so one forty divisible here so remaining zero fifty four times a five forty see yes this five forty is now divisible by fifteen twenty and fifty four okay and this 540 came when when we add 11 to this smallest number so that's why our answer is 529 okay do you understand all of you? so so understood all of you so i hope you've understood all of you you know so in question number 10 what we have done we first find the lcm of these three given numbers and in this number we just subtract 11 to get the required smallest number okay so this is the required smallest number which so this is the required smallest number which when increase by 11 is exactly divisible by 15 20 and 54 okay so i hope you've understood thank you